Hi all, today we have a little look at the new plastic Deimos pattern whirlwind Scorpius. Uh, we have received this as a review item and uh, we have painted up as you can see. Yeah, it's a good kit to assemble just like the Rhino and Predator before. The missile launcher is on top and nice and easy to put together, there's no complaints there at all either. I made the decision to shelve my Space Wolf Legion for now as I just couldn't get the greys right. So here is my first unit for the Blood Angels army I will now be starting. So firstly, it's undercoated Chaos Black. After that, leave it to dry. Then you're gonna airbrush white primer into the center of almost every single panel, leaving a bit of a shadow around the outside. With the pre-shading complete, you then airbrush Mephiston Red over the tank in a few layers, which does look a bit pink at this stage, but then the next stage will take that down. Then you take Angron Clear Red and you spray over the entire tank and get this beautiful sheen. See, that is a real Blood Angel vibe right there. From there, it's mainly painting all the details. But for the transfers, I'd always recommend adding a layer of multi-surface wax. I think it's, it's Pledge in the United Kingdom. Um, Pledge multi-surface wax uh, or clear. I uh, don't know if you can get clear nowadays. But then after that, throw a transfer or two on wherever you want them to make it look really nice. And then after that... All the chipping and weathering goes on the corners of the vehicles and paint all the all the big parts like the the turret and the missile launchers, all the metal work, this, that and the other. Before giving the tank another coating of Pledge multi-surface wax, which will then act as a barrier for the weathering in the next stage. After that, I paint on a nice muddy mixture of odorless white spirits and... Um, oil paint mixed together. It's a nice gritty brown, almost the same sort of colour as Typhus Corrosion. can't remember the brown off the top of my head right now, but it's covered over the entire vehicle and left to dry. At this point I use a heat gun to dry the mixture onto a model. I always would suggest trying this technique on an old armour panel you've got lying around or an old tank you don't want anymore, just rather than jumping straight in on a brand new tank that you've just purchased and are really happy with. Uh, practice makes perfect as everyone knows. Then you take an old, old plain t-shirt that you've got lying around, which you don't want anymore, maybe even old bed sheets that you don't need, and uh, tear it up into nice little rags, and then you basically buff the uh, oil paint off of the main surfaces, which are obviously been protected because of the uh, layers of clear and pledge you put on earlier, before the oil buff. And it will leave the residue just in the recesses where you want it to be. I would also suggest using Q-tips to get right into the recesses to get the um, to get some hard to reach and hard to buff places cleaned off. And don't forget, you can mess around with odorless white spirits to get that paint off where it gets a bit st stuck in certain areas. So here's the finished vehicle. I used Scale seventy four Maron Gobi Gobi Brown as airbrushed in thin layers over the tracks to give a nice muddy, dusty effect. I use MIG P234 rubble dust on the tracks to add a bit of texture. It looks really nice actually. I'm really impressed with that colour. I then fix the pigments with AK Interactive Pigment Fixer. So yes, I'm very pleased with this vehicle and how it turned out. So yeah, it's a great kit from Games Workshop and we thank them again for the review item. And um, I'm looking forward to now adding it to a huge legion of Blood Angel legionaries. Um, Christmas is coming, so I can't wait to get the rest of it. All right. Anyway, have a good day, guys. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. And if you've got any questions or any queries on the technique, please let me know in the comments below, and I'll, um, I'll definitely get around to answering them. Okay?